Just quickly before we get into today's video, a big thank you to our sponsors for supporting this year's Computex coverage. Check out Corsair's fancy new Vengeance RGB memory, and if you're after a new rig that won't send you broke, MSI's got you covered. Check out the latest MSI gaming PC setups and learn how you can build an incredible new gaming rig that's light on your wallet. Make sure you check out the link below in the video description. Welcome back to Harbour Unbox. Today we are at the MSI booth and they have some B450 boards for us. We also have an amazing looking X399 board, so I'm going to show that to you guys. A few other cool things, so let's go check it out. First stop at the MSI booth is the B450 motherboards. We have the B450 Tomahawk and the B450A Pro. Both of these boards have a 4 plus 2 VRM and we, are, we don't know what uh, to expect in terms of performance. So next month, July 31st, is when we will be able to do reviews on these boards. But we are expecting a refined board design, obviously, refined bias, so we'll be able to take advantage of the Samsung b die memory. We'll tighten up those sub timings and show you guys how they perform next month. MSI told us that although they only had two B450 boards on display at Computex, we can expect a full range of boards to be available soon. As I mentioned earlier, these boards do only include a 4 plus 2 VRM, so that means you'll really only want to be overclocking the 6 core and lower end Ryzen parts. But we imagine if you're serious about overclocking the Ryzen 7 parts, you'll probably get your hands on a new X470 board, such as the X470 Gaming Pro Carbon, which was also on display. While we are expecting improved BIOS support for the B450 boards, a big advantage is the fact that all these models will support second gen Ryzen CPUs right out of the box. And actually having said that, going forward, support for all future CPUs without the correct BIOS won't be an issue with any MSI B450 board, as they all include a BIOS flash button on the I.O. panel that will allow the user to update the BIOS without requiring a CPU at all. Again, MSI says that this feature will be supported by all their B450 boards, even the absolute cheapest models. And I imagine this will become a standard MSI feature going forward. So that's just amazing news. And I like to think that my AMD superior compatibility rant video had some influence here, but I'm probably giving myself too much credit. So let's just shuffle along. And also on display alongside the B450 motherboards, we have found the new Mech 2 graphics cards. We have the RX 580 model and the RX 570 model. So. MSI aren't telling us what happened to the original Mech. We don't know why they've gone straight to Mech 2, but that's fine. So the Mech 2 has their Torx fans. So we've got the Torx 2.0 fans. They say it's the same cooling and everything they had from the previous version they were using. So it's just now under the Mech 2 branding. Okay, so what we have here is probably the most insane X399 board on the market. It is the new MSI X399 creation. It has a 19 phase VRM. You can put seven uh, M.2 drives, three go on the board, and then there's an expansion card for another four, and they all work at full speed. So great for content creators, loads of storage performance there. And here's a look at the M.2 storage expansion card that will be bundled with the X399 creation motherboard. MSI calls it the Expander Aero, and it's a PCIe x16 card that supports an additional four M.2 NVMe SSDs, which are cooled by a large aluminium heatsink with active cooling. Essentially, it looks like a mini ITX graphics card, so that's pretty cool. One thing's for sure, I'm really going to need to stock up on M.2 drives so I can test this thing out later in the year. Very excited about that. Of course, the X399 creation packs loads of other features. The I.O. panel alone includes 10 USB ports, and there is a Type-C port there, 4 Gen 2 3.1 ports, so just loads of USB ports. You also get dual gigabit LAN using Intel controllers, an Intel 9260 module supporting 802.11 AC Wi-Fi and Bluetooth 5.0. MSI has also included a clear CMOS switch here, which is very handy, and we do get a BIOS flashback button as well, so you can take advantage of that for updating to future processes on this motherboard without running into any problems. As we've mentioned, there's also loads of storage options. In addition to those seven M.2 ports, you do get eight SATA ports as well. And MSI really is targeting professionals with this board, uh, content creators in particular, as the name suggests. On that note, it is great to see an X399 board without gaming in the title. Uh, this makes a lot more sense. That said though, MSI hasn't done away with some of the more fun things. We do get RGB of course, there's plenty of RGB lighting on the board and it does look quite good. So if you want a work PC that has a bit of flair, then you will appreciate the X399 creation. MSI has also completely overhauled their Mystic Lighting software for better support and usability. And this is something Tim will cover in an upcoming video with some other exciting stuff like MSI's new laptops and monitors. At this point, we don't have any official information on the next-gen Threadripper CPUs, but MSI says that this board does support them. 
So great to know what we've got upcoming support there. And I just love the look and design of this board, the shattered glass theme, bit crazy bit out there, but I think it looks really good. Well, that concludes our coverage of the MSI booth. A lot of cool products. Really good to see some B450 boards finally. Really loved that X399 creation board. Cannot wait to check that out later in the year, especially with some second gen Threadripper CPUs. Hopefully we hear about them soon. So stay tuned for our coverage because we have a lot more coming at Computex 2018. See you guys next time.